Good day, this is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is EET 121, Digital One. Today we're gonna to continue our discussion and we're starting with product of sums. As remember, sum of products was the sum of products. Product of sums is the product of sums. So it's nothing, nothing too crazy here. So just think of it as sum, sums, that is the product of sums. Whereas previously we were doing product that is SOP. This is POS. Very similar though. Okay, so what is a sum? It is the Boolean addition. So that's a or. What is a product? It's an and so it's a bunch of ors anded together if you could think about this here's our and gate at the end and here's our or gates that feed it whatever those inputs may be Okay, the standard form. Well, here, let's just talk about a, what is a sum. Let's just do a couple examples. That is not A or B. So here's a not A or B. And then let's do a three input or. That's a, not a convincing looking or. Let's get rid of this one. Let's do a not b c. So what is this guy? And this is this is a uh, this is our sum here. So it's a or not b or c. This is two, which is this guy. This is one, which is this guy. What's happening here? It's the product of sums. What are we getting out right here? Well, we're getting out. not a or b and a or not b or c okay so the standard form for the pos is the sums need to contain all variables in the domain so given this example domain same thing as all the variables that make it up so uh given this example right here what is the standard form so this example it's got uh, an A or not B or C anded with A or B or not D anded with A or not B or not C or D. So it looks like our domain is A, B, C, and D. Looks like our third term, he's good to go. Our second term, he's missing C. Our first term, he's missing D. So it doesn't matter which one you want to you want to work with first. Let's just do the first term. So we've got to somehow put D back into that. Okay. So using the property that A and not A is equal to zero, also using the property that A or zero is equal to A, using these two properties in combination, we can add that D in there and get an equivalent. So. What we're going to do is our first term is A or not B or C, and we're missing D, so we're going to add, or bi uh, binary add, Boolean add, Boolean add, D and not D, because we haven't changed this, ex this expression because that's equivalent to a zero, and when you're Boolean adding a zero, you haven't changed the expression. Also, we're going to use a third property, which is x or y and z is equal to x or y and x or z and how we describe this here think of this as x think of that as y think of that as z and i think that is property 11 it's written as a b and c uh 
a, a stick with x, y, and z because it's it's less confusing this right right now. Okay, so what does this mean using this here? So it's because that's our x or y. So it's x or y, and it together with our x term. I'm just kind of lumping it all together. A or not B or C, all is an x. There, it looks like you've got a sum, a sum, and a together. OK, sum of products. OK, let's do that for 2. If you know what you're doing, you can pause the tape and actually just do this yourself too. So we've got A or B, then just check if you're right, or D. So we're missing C, so we got to add our C and not C, because that's equivalent to adding a 0. And adding a 0 hasn't changed anything there for an OR expression. And then using this property right here, where this is x, this is y and this is z, we can come up with OK, so that's equivalent as our second term, this guy. And this guy is equivalent as our first term. So let's go to our third term. Oh, he's good. So he's good to go. So all we do now is just put one, our new one, our new two, and our old three together, and we get something like this right here. There you go. So now this right here is our newly dubbed first term. This right here is our new second term. And that right here was our unchanged, oops, forgot a parenthesis, our unchanged third term. Okay? So now what is the use of the product of sums term, uh, product of sum ex expression? Basically, it is using this. You can find all possible combinations of binary values whereby that particular sum is equal to 0. It's only, so it's basically, it's uh, each sum expression is only equal to 0 for one possible combination of binary values. So taking this term right here, what is the possible combination of binary values that's going to give us a 0? So that's a0, b1, because a not b is, uh, excuse me, a, a not 1 is 0, 0, 0. Because that's the only time that that is going to give us a 0. And on, and on. and on, and on. So basically, those those combinations of bits, A0, B1, C0, D0, will give us a total 0, because anything anded with 0 is a 0. And then the other ones are 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 triple zero one zero one one zero okay so if I gave you this expression right here what are the possible bit combos that will give us a zero for the output well it looks like zero one zero one zero one 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 zero one one are the possible combinations that are going to give us a zero for the output. Pretty cool, huh? You know, basically, you should be proficient at setting things up in the standard SOP and the standard POS, because as we go into Karnaugh mapping and truth tables, you're going to be using these a lot. Okay.